Hello, my name is Mr. Mimblastic. I think you probably already know this. <laughs> but, you know, it's honored to see you guys again. Or, you know, new faces around here, but... We're playing some Trick or Treat. I have no idea what fucking part this is. Probably like part 3, 4, 5, I don't, I don't know, but... Whatever part this is, uh, we just got one of the official endings. I finally got an achievement. Uh, two achievements, actually. Um... So I'm going to attempt to uh, try to, uh, and we we I'm going to attempt to try to get the other endings because I think there should be more. I don't know what they're called or what they are. I didn't look at the achievements because I didn't want to spoil myself. But um, but uh, yeah. Let's, let's start. Let's start it up and uh, head there. I think I can go to a quick save. A quick save should be right here. Uh, was it here? Yeah, I'll just skip ahead. I'll just skip ahead. Problem solved. Oh, but <laughs> Yep. All that shit, all that shit. Yep, 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 yep. Man, there was a lot of fucking tucks, damn. Alright. I will believe and help her. I can't ignore her petition. I know that she has not been the kind kindest girl, but somehow I think she's telling the truth. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah. She, she's more of a trustworthy kind of person. Let's be real here. She really is. I, I don't like. Logically speaking, I would, I regret not kissing her because I, I am more, I, like, if I was put in this situation, I would have trusted um the cat over the blonde girl. Like, who the fuck would have trusted the blonde girl? She was obviously fucking sus. Okay, I'm going to help you. But tell me, what should I do? I ask at the same time I look at her red eyes with determination. Undertale moment. Actually nods a couple of times. She seems pleased with my answer. It's simple, just share your feelings of love towards me. It's not that easy, brother. I, I have not... You know, I've actually never, like, I love my family, you know, of course, but I've never, like, fallen in love, like, like with another person, you know? Like, I've, I've never, I don't know what that feels like. <laughs> I, I don't even know if it's fucking true. I never felt like it. I sometimes think it's a myth. But, you know, hey, you guys tell me. <laughs> you guys tell me. She now responds with more confidence. I can't help but sigh after hearing it. Something here is wrong. I'm sorry, but I cannot do that. Well, we just met each other. I don't feel empathy for you, but it wouldn't be right to call it love. I explain with frustration in my face. She asked too much from me. <laughs> yeah, she really did. Actually, then places a hand against her lips, making a pensive gesture. I, s I see it as the feeling that cannot be achieved in a single day. Of course not, silly cat. How how have you never been in have have you never been in love? <laughs> well, there is one alternative, but I don't want to use it because it would do you harm. I blink confused after hearing her. What is the alternative? I asked I asked while staring at her face. The fuck? Okay, well, the the second kiss I had. Okay, if I did this, I would die. Essentially, I'm assuming because it's gotta be right. Actually, explain. Well, no, I she took half my power, so she's also gonna take half my power as well. So I, I'm gonna probably die. Yeah. Actually, explains with a very serious look. She then diverts her gaze, feeling disgusted at the simple idea. But I'm not going to do it if I remove the vital energy you have left, you will die. Certainly I do not want that. And if you don't have enough energy to fight, what will you do? This is not looking good. If you don't have those feelings for me, there's not much I can that can be done. Replied, a replied Ashley with a sign of annoyance. Anyway, I will go and face her even if I have to give my life in, this in the fight. She says it with so much sim simplicity. That seems she doesn't care for her own life. Wait, is there any... Is there really nothing I can do to help you? I interrupted immediately. I could not let, let her just go like that. At least I had to do something, however small that may be. How could you help me? How could you help me? Th that look gave Ash... That look Ashley gave call me an idiot without saying a word. Oh, well, we were on the same page. Uh, we were on the same team. I think... That some things simply will never change. I stay silent for a moment, looking down while I think on a solution. Ashley stares at me impatiently. 
I don't, f I don't feel love towards you, but once I've felt it for someone else, I can try to remember those feelings so that you can use them as energy. Asher thinks deeply for a moment. I guess it's worth a try. She said not sounding very convinced, but it was certainly better than nothing. <clears throat> After that, the two of us stare at each other's eyes for a couple of seconds without saying a word. Then we suddenly divert our looks at the same time, embarrassed we were acting like kids. Are you ready? Ashley asked almost lovingly. Is this a good time to say I never kiss I never had a first kiss yet? <laughs> I actually never kissed anybody. <laughs> it's easy to notice that she was taking this seriously. I nod. Yes, whenever you want we can start. I replied just before closing my eyes and trying with all my heart to revive that image. Suddenly Ashley holds my hand, even with my eyes closed, I I can feel her presence near. That makes me somewhat nervous, but I have to relax. Like, the last time I had a fucking crush, I was like in third grade, and that was about it. Like, ever since I was in the third grade, I've never really had a crush ever since. I exhale, I exhale, letting my concerns go out with my breath. Her hands softly caress mine to help me relax. Then I start to remember something that happened many years in the past. <clears throat> it's getting interesting. When I was young, every summer, I went to my grandparents' house to visit them. I didn't like it because they had nothing fun there. Only an old TV and dusty books that I had no interest in reading. However, whenever I went there, I could see her. A girl with brown long hair who always had a cute dress. When I saw her for the first time, I could feel a strange fascination for her. Her fragile, inexplicable beauty. I watched her at a distance without knowing what this feeling was. I only knew that something in her called me. <clears throat> it was more than just beautiful. Her beauty was something with many layers, with many facets. I thought I said feces for a second. <laughs> her gestures, her expressions, her way of playing, they were all beautiful. Finally, one day, I had the courage to ask her to play together. Without even thinking about it, she told me yes. All that afternoon, we spent playing until it inevitably became, began to be get dark. She was a simple girl, enjoyed playing as anyone else, but I could not remove my eyes from her. When the day ended, she says goodbye to me with a radiant smile. I had forgotten it, how beautiful it was, how astonished I was after seeing it. At that day, I never got to see her again. Last thing I knew, her family moved to another country. I do not know if that was a predestined love, or just my inexperienced feelings confused with something new. But without a doubt, it was beautiful. I do not want to forget it again, never again. There we go. And then, uh, unexpectedly, I feel Ashley giving me a shy kiss on the lips. It was ephemeral. Oh, I can't fuck it. I don't, I, I'm too. I'm just really tired. Only last enough uh, to even understand what that word says. Ephemeral. I thought it was ethereal, but it's if if emerald. Maybe it's a misspelled word. I don't know. Only last enough to feel it to know that it was real. But at the same time, the shyness gave it a special beauty. It was a sweet kiss. There are no more words to describe it. I want my eyes finding Ashley one step away from me, completely blushing and looking away from me. She is silent but doesn't look angry in the, in the least. Her red eyes are gentle, although embarrassed. Are you alright? I ask with kindness while I look at her. My heart is calm quickly after the kiss. I don't, sh I don't show it, but somehow I feel liberated lighter. Ashley turns her head to look me in the eyes. Yes, thank you. She said with shyness. However, she then breathes deep and magically recovers her proud attitude. I believe that. I believe this will be enough to stop her. The plan was a success. I'm really pleased. That's fantastic to hear. Ashley closes her eyes and nods a couple of times. When she is not scolding, I must confess that she is very cute. <laughs> Simp. Anyway, we can't wait any longer. Every second we talk, Lillian must be using it to her plan her revenge. Oh, I should be saying this in an Ashley voice. We have to go now and stop her. Ashley explains acting with complete seriousness. Our little break had ended. Yes, let's go. Was my short response overflowing with determination? Uh, there is no more to say. <clears throat> I 
Ugh. The way back, the way back to the cabin feels short this time. Before I knew it, it was front in front of my eyes. Um, Lillian is outside next to the door. She was waiting for us. Brave, brave night! I see you finally came. She said with a confident smile. Oh, deja vu. I've just been in this place before. <laughs> her attitude is very different from the first time I saw her. Just from looking at her, I'm sure of it. She has not any innocent soul. That is new. It's a shame. To, it's a shame to see you with that woman. I had hopes for you. Bitch, you literally enslaved me for eternity and just like killed like four thousand people, bro. Axel won't be fooled by you again. Ashley replied, talking in my place. At that moment, I see Lillian make a grimace of disgust. As soon as she recovers her look of confidence, I wanted Axel to be my companion since he kindly came to rescue me. But oh well, it's not important. I already got enough energy from him. With that alone, I have surpassed you. Finally, I'll be able to get rid of you, Ashley. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine how she said that. Ash Lee? I don't know. So Lillian pronouncing her name with a mocking tone. Well, we can at least agree on that. While giving her a malicious smile. Her victory was in the palm of her hand. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley instantly roars furious. So I have a question. Why did Lillian... Not Lillian. So why did Ashley not kill Lillian like... The, all, all these times. Like, I don't understand. Like, wasn't Ashley, like, more powerful than Lillian? Like, couldn't Ashley have killed Lillian, like, all these times at all? Wasn't that possible? You won't know until you try it. After saying that, she crosses her arms with pride. Once I beat you, nothing shall stop me from completing my revenge. Why do you want to do that? It's been, been far too long. The people who hurt you are already gone, and not even the memory of the crime committed here exists anymore. It's just a village of innocent people. You're right, but someone has to suffer. I smiled at Lillian without hesitation, not doubting a single moment, leaving me completely cold. After seeing my reaction to her answer, she directed an evil smile right at me as if her words meant nothing. That makes me angry. And what, what do you mean by doing that? What do you mean? Wait, what did he say? Win by doing that? Will you win? I I forgot. I yell at the same time I close my hands in two fists. I simply couldn't accept it. It was too much. Bitch. Oh, that's a new sprite. I just wanted them to suffer like I did. Revenge is a child's game. Ugh. If I don't make them suffer, then who will? Who will be the carrier of this hate that every day eats me at me from inside like parasites would sicken me and deform me and deforms me? Lillian pauses. It is unfair that I continue to suffer while they are innocent. Lillian speaks out at the same time she hits her chest, showing how much that meant for her. This is more than pain. This is proof of my existence. She pauses and exhales, calming herself. Anyway, enough with speeches. I will end you and then bring my revenge to the townspeople. Maybe, maybe she should have been burned at the fucking stake. Oh, this is some battle music. Okay. Then, without saying anything more, the battle begins between the two. It was something that my mind cannot comprehend. A show of power and magic that deformed reality itself. Yeah, I mean, if we saw this shit too, we'd probably, we probably like think we're fucking schizophrenic or some shit. Ashley repeatedly attacks by firing a strange, translucent power as if hot air. Just from seeing it, I know, I know that it has enough strength to knock down a house, but Lillian doesn't even blink. She calmly moves a hand, creating a barrier that reflects her attacks each time. God damn, is this a fucking Tahoe? Ta uh, Tahoe? Is this how Tahoe fights go? Interesting, interestingly, it was Ashley who was more active. She attacked ins insensibly from many different angles. Well, this is, so basically what I'm getting at, this is Marissa... Ku Wait, no, I don't, I don't know how Tohu works. I know there's a character called Marissa, but I think she's the more, like, energetic one. I think. And Ramu is, like, the more bitchy one. I don't fucking know, I haven't... While Lillian stays still, reflecting her attacks and fighting back, always with a smile on her face. 
After seeing that those attacks will have not have an effect, Ashley changes strategy. She transforms herself into an imaginary white beast and imaginary white beast and charges against Lillian. Now that was my nickname in high school, by the way. <laughs> However, Lillian transforms her body just like her into an unknown dark being and resists her attack. Oh my god, the dark the lat versus the dark. Ashley regains human form, making a grimace of disgust. Both had wounds after this confrontation. F I thought I just heard something again. Oh, that's just my chair. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not. I'm not being haunted. I'm not being haunted. Both had wounds after this confrontation. But then, before my eyes, I see how they place their hands on their wounds and heal them magically. Apparently, the two have the same powers. The only thing different was their personalities. There are simply no words to describe it. At least my mind was unable to find them. I only know that during the fight, neither of the two seem to have an advantage over the other. What if these two are just sisters? That would just... I feel like they're just sisters. That's my theory. Everything indicated it was an even match. On several occasions, I beheld bright and colorful lights, superhuman abilities, multiplication of bodies, teleportation, healing, transformation, and many other powers that seemed to come out of a fairy tale. The combat seems to last forever. Every second, every attack and defense were loaded with so much tension and emotion that time had simply disappeared for me. The only thing that captured my attention was seeing the two girls fighting in such a fantastic way. Literally seeing a Dragon Ball Z fight, like, in, like, reality. I can't imagine how that looked. We probably could, we, I mean, a Dragon Ball Z fight, we probably couldn't even, like, see because they're just going so damn fast. Finally, after an unknown time, both fall. On the ground, bloody, they look into each other's eyes. The blue eyes beheld the red ones, and vice versa. Both of them smile. Ashley proudly, Lillian with irony. It seemed that the two were anticipating that end. You did very well, I didn't expect it, Lillian said with honesty. You doubted, you doubted of me, stupid girl? Ashley replied with arrogance, even though her lips were stained with blood. Lillian then shows us a fo smile full of malice. You have always been like that. Even a mutual death you consider a victory. You are really an idiot. You should have... Oh, wait. You oh, wait. Oh, I'm, uh, this is the funk voice. This is Lillian, not fucking Ashley. You really are an idiot. You should, should be more selfish. It's strange, but she does not sound angry in the least. You may be right, but all I wanted was to stop you. Played Ashley proud of herself. There's not a hint of regret in her words. Okay, I accept my defeat. But at least in these last moments of my life, I want to be in peace with you. Is that okay? Lena responded with a friendly smile. I'm sorry for constantly saving. <laughs> Just in case there's like an option uh, for like something. Uh, something. To be honest, I was going to say the same thing. As Lena with an uh, ironic smile. I suddenly watch them both as they talk, feeling a strange fascination. Mixed with an unmistakable feeling of sadness. I just met them this evening, but somehow it pains me to see them as that. Somehow I formed a bond with them. It was then that I see them slowly start to disappear. Suddenly the two uh, turn to set their eyes on me, giving me one last smile. Goodbye, noble knight. I confess, I confess I enjoyed kissing you. It wasn't all an act. Lillian said, looking at me with a tenderness that breaks my heart. Now that's sad. Thank you, Ash. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Ashley? I can't help but feel nostalgia at the moment. I knew this was going to be our last goodbye. Even if I didn't want to admit it, that was her fate. It is alright. For it to end like this? Don't worry, everything will be fine now. Finally, my reason for existing has been fulfilled. I have no regrets. Then this is our goodbye. Yes. Suddenly she recovers her proud attitude. Excuse me. However, this time was different. She was happy. Really happy. It was a pleasure to meet you, stupid human. You know, can we just... You know, can we just nickname that all 8 billion people on this planet just stupid human? I mean, we're, we all are. Let's be real. We might be the most intelligent uh, species on planet Earth, but we're still stupid. <laughs> and that says a lot. Ashley said with the arrogance as always, but now instead of anger, it made me feel like I was about to cry. 
It was fun. It was. It was fun to meet you. Said the two, surprisingly in unison. They were. Th those were their last words. Damn, how sad. You know, it wasn't. It actually was a pretty decent story. I like. I was actually quite interested. Like at the beginning, I was like, eh. I, like this kind of se seems like shit. But you know, once we kind of reached towards the endings, I'm like, ah, hey, this this the story is actually pretty good. That they, they then disappear, dis dispersed in the form of particles of light, <laughs> as if small fireflies were fireflies. Fuck, I dude, I have, I sometimes think I have a lisp. Lisp. What we do of lisp? There we go. Fireflies were escaping from their bodies with a beautiful but depressing green color. Without thinking, I run towards them, even if I couldn't do anything. I want to touch them one last time. The only thing my hands were able to reach are the particles of light that slip out between my fingers as if they were water. Then I see the light rise higher and higher until it disappears in the night sky. I did it. I'm a hero. I'm the one who finally broke the curse. Kinda. I mean, I think it was more Ashley, but yeah, kinda. You, d you did kiss her, got rid of your something, you like risk your life and whatnot. I mean, hey, kinda. Now, no one else will be trapped by it. <laughs> but then, why do I have this face that looks as if, if it wants to cry but has no tears? Why do I feel so terribly bad? Life is more than just victor victories or defeats. That night I learned it is the best way. 4 a.m. Damn, this, this guy needs sleep, bro. This guy needs sleep. Oh, finally, I finally get out of the forest, and it was almost morning. Axel. Oh, yep, yeah, this Axel, Axel. Suddenly I hear someone calling my name, but it isn't a strange voice. It's the voice of my friends who are looking for me. Hey, over here! I shut without hesitation, with a bit of clumsiness, because of my confusion. So they fi found me, and impatiently run towards me. S so where were you? The, wor the, the worry was killing us. Steven I was... I mean, I, was, I almost got killed. <laughs> Steven said with a face that I didn't remember having ever seen before. Before answering, I rubbed my forehead. I couldn't find the force exit. Alf Alfred was about to say something, but before that I interrupted him. Anyway, it doesn't matter, I was just lost. The important thing is that we are all safe. Yes, yes you are! I knew that they wouldn't believe my story if I told them, so I don't bother them bother to do so. And so, as sudden as it happened, the night was left behind, being replaced by boring days. Almost identical days. But at least I had achieved our goal. I had a night worthy of remembering. Hmm. 9 a.m. November 15th. Oh wow, finally some fucking light. Several days have passed since then. Suddenly I see a cat walk by. Ashley? I ask without even thinking. She turns and looks at me confused, but of course she could not be who I spoke of. The cat seemed oddly friendly with humans. She observes me with shyness, but doesn't growl at me. Without much thought, I decided to adopt her. Maybe in hopes Ashley would come back someday. <laughs> Even if that was an impossible desire. Having this cute cat will make me remember Ashley forever. Oh, aren't you sweet? It might have just have been just a night, but it was an experience I would never forget. I hold the cat in my hands. She actually looks happy for having a new owner. Seeing her like that makes me smile. Without a doubt, you will be good company. Ashley ending. Ashley ending. Ugh. Ugh. So is that it? Did I get all the endings? All the... everything? Ugh. I thought there was more achievements though, right? Am I missing something still? Let me let me actually check. I'm gonna gonna go check real quick after we saw these credits. So. Oh, rush! Oh wait, I just realized Russian translation, Italian translation. Proof read by Logan. S okay, so Russian and Italian are the original languages. I'm I'm gonna take a theory and say that it's gonna be a Spanish-speaking country, like Spain, Mexico, or Chile, where the creator is from, is my guess. Like maybe Argentina or some some shit like that. Gotta be right. Alright, well, I guess I'll let the credits go by, and... <sighs>
There's gotta be, there's no, there's gotta be more achievements. I'm positive there is. I, I know I saw more than, like, three. I, I, I should have three by now. I think. Alright, well. Let me, let me go, let me go check. Let me go check if I'm missing something. So I did check, I am missing a couple of achievements. So, I'm gonna... I, I'm trying to think what I should do, because is there any, like... Yeah, it's just... Oh, wait, extra, what is this? Uh, soundtrack, credit, endings, endings? Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, I am missing an ending, okay, well... I'm gonna go try to find that, then! Oh, whoops. Whoops, whoops, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to- uh, I, th I think that's supposed to show me, um, the ending. Let me, let me, let me go back to the fucking, uh, yeah, set up. F how do I get back to the lobby? There we go, main menu. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I think I am missing one ending. Let me, let me go to extra real quick and see if there's anything here. So credits, soundtrack, websites. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm also missing another fucking soundtrack. Okay, that's sus. Oh, uh, websites. What about websites? Oh. Well, if you want to go to those websites, you know what to do. Itch.io. What the fuck is that? Alright, uh... Yeah, I'm missing one ending. Alright, I'm gonna go try to get that ending. I'm gonna go try to get that ending. Fuck it. Let's, fuck it, let's do it. I'll be right back. <laughs> 